so how we do this uh, did the, this project, we did the, through research, action, and participation. So to pass from theory to practice. And I have several questions for you. All right, so please write it down because of the time uh, they will punish me. <laughs> so uh, please, so if you, you love chocolate, think about it. Uh, you have, have you ever fell in love? And if you want to know a project about uh, transform the life of a community. Okay, well, well, so we will talk about social entrepreneurship, um, which is an initiative that through market or not market formulas aims to create sustainable social value, either by simple social orientation and intention or by its contribution to social cohesion based on the primary of people over capital and its democratic or participatory governance. And this is a um, definition from a... Uh, uh, Gustavo Perez eh, Lejarriaga y Paloma Beldurán and some others in Spain in 2018, which uh, uh, reaches three uh, topics uh, specifically, which is uh, the, the well-being, the impact, and the sustainability. It's uh, also made by uh, Rodríguez Alcaraz in 2011. So um, I'm going to talk about this um, book and about this experience. Uh, which then we find we finish with a book, and so the book is called Kayari. Kayari uh, is an experience of uh, social entrepreneurship in the Ecuadorian Amazon, and um, what we did is we made a time uh, line business, and it forms our organization to the empower of women challenges and opportunities are sit down over here. And it's important for us to do this um, when we did this research is because we wanted to systematize in a book. And the second one um, objective, let's say, to, to promote experience of social entrepreneurship that allow the walls of exclusion that we heard on the first two presentations and to be broken down and serve as a guide to other marginalized social groups or those in peripheral territories to start their entrepreneurship. Okay, so this is what we wanted to, to have. So today is very important for me. I feel very honored to share with you this experience because it can bring some light and uh, we can share later on. Okay, so where did we make this uh, research? Is uh, This is Ecuador. Ecuador has four regions, the Galapagos Island, the coast, the region, at the Andes and the Amazon. So we made it on the Andes region, right? And um, we made it uh, mostly about social participation and uh, interviews. So we made a total of uh, 30 interviews. We're located in different uh, places, uh, like uh, nine uh, places specifically. But as you can see, the river is one of, you know, the, the all these communities are based through the river. Um, and um, well, here I want to, uh, if I'm able to, I'm going to or I'll try to to put this, I don't know, it's going to work, but anyway, I'll try it later if we have time. There's a small um, uh, uh, YouTube video so we can see it. Now, we'll see, this is the, the cooperative uh, branch, let's say office. And this is these were the first steps 20 years ago, it uh, held by some co cooperation. Um, and now this is the new generation of um, the second generation, let's say, of uh, Kayaris people. Now, now, it's important to talk about entrepreneurship uh, with a purpose and a value creation. So how did they start it? They started uh, to, to think about an organization that can provide some uh, income for the communities. And the first thing that they did was the crafts. They started with the crafts, and uh, arts and crafts. And then um, they find out that uh, they could start to grow in different actions. So now they do the production, marketing, and exports of organic products, uh, mostly cocoa, chocolate, guayusa, vanilla, and uh, the crafts still, and uh, some um, community-based tourism, okay? Um, I did this uh, specific uh, slides in order for you to travel uh, through 
the Amazon and try to understand this. Now, the social focus of us, uh, there's uh, two, mo the most important things about this is, this is a group of indigenous people in the Amazons, and um, they have uh, three fundamental axes prevailing the economic dimension, harmony with nature, collective life, um, that is plural versus individual, which chucks with our occidental way of thinking and the ancestral knowledge that facilitates and promote the social economy. There's another issue that is the Minga, which is the Peruvian uh, people know the best. Um, it's a form of recognition of the collective people and the participation and empowerment of women, because uh, as we can see, many women participate and they can be also president of the associations. And um, another thing it's very important is the fair trade, could it, the middlemen, the um, distributors, let's say. So we can see some pictures about the uh, cocoa, how they get the gatherings, uh, the, the women also working there. And we'll talk about some impact, you know, what is the impact of this um, association is that entrepreneurship in harmony with nature and the bio entrepreneurship. So it is important to think about as we we recall the, the definition of social entrepreneurship. So they uh, can prevail the um, well-being, the impact and the sustainability. The promotion of the organic chakra, which is uh, the way they cultivate it. The role of women in the food sovereignty, which is very important. They are the guardians of the seeds. The empowerment of women also as leaders in the production and marketing of the Wayusa, which is another um, drink they have. And the income generation for 250 families in 21 partner communities. Let me add this. Well, so we can see they have uh, received several uh, recognitions, not only in Ecuador, but around the world. And they have several um, products, as we can see on the, on the pictures. Sustainability. Uh, so they have to innovate permanently without losing its sense, without uh, leaving the indigenous uh, traditions. They are trying to explore new markets and try to, to use it the, the, in a direct way. Um, they require you know, an autonomy in the production of manufacturers. Uh, generation renewal, this is the most, this is one of the challenges that they, re, uh, they need to do, which is the empowerment of young people and this trading organization according to its growth. All right. So we can see also the tourism, how it, it works. Some of the chocolate bars that uh, later on I'll share uh, with you, I will share with you. And uh, this is in a part of an interview. And um, this is a woman that says the value and importance of conserving our, 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 our environment, the Amazon, the Pachamama, and living in harmony. So I think other people in the other side of the world should know it. So they know that what they have, and they also wanted to share. And this is the purpose <clears throat> of the book, you know, to make them um, not my uh, vision of the uh, social entrepreneurship, but their vision uh, share with other communities um, to, to understand social economy. Now, yeah, uh, these are parts of the, of the book. Uh, that you're going to see. I'm going to send it to you um, also in the chat. Um, and thank you very much. My name is Carmen uh, Coral. So you can find me on uh, LinkedIn if you have or uh, Instagram. Uh, and this is my uh, email. I will be more than glad to hear about your questions. Thank you.